Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at the new firmware update for the Panasonic Lumix G9 Mark II. And the day of recording this, it's uh, December the 20th, 2023, and that is the um, firmware update release. So uh, essentially for us in the UK, it was here ready this morning. In the US, you may have been able to uh, download it yesterday during the day. So, you know, possibly you've already got this, but if you haven't, it's just a quick overview of what's there and, you know, what's in this new firmware update. So. Um, you can see on here we've got one for the G9 Mark II and one for the GH6. Um, I've covered that in another video. I'll link up in the corner if um, you're interested in that one. But uh, in this video, we're just going to quickly, quickly go through this one. And we did a video about it before, so um, you know we more or less know what's going to be in this. But it's just to break it down, and you can kind of see they've broken it down into three sections. You've got one, two, three, and part one is essentially um, this uh, one and two both relate to the same thing. So it's raw over HDMI essentially. So if you're interested in getting a, uh, a recorder, uh, you know, monitor recorder that can do raw video, then um, that now is available for the G9 Mark II. So that comes in the form of the uh, Blackmagic RAW, which is number one in this. Or ProRes RAW, which is uh, number two in this, and we'll we'll quickly just have a look through. So you can see for both of them, they're essentially the same kind of options. You've got 12-bit RAW, like I say, Blackmagic RAW up here, ProRes RAW down here, and essentially the same mode. You've got 5.7K, C4K. Uh, we've got OpenGate 5.8K, 4.4K, and then like I say, you can see it says uh, it's it's 12-bit RAW over HDMI. And then this is going to be with the video assist monitor. So that's a Blackmagic product. Uh, with this one, you've got the Atomos. Uh, you can have the Ninja 5, the 5 Plus, uh, the, the Ultra, and you can see the um, the Shogun and the Shogun Ultra, as well as the, the Connect. Uh, and like I say, uh, ProRes RAW for that. So um, yeah, essentially it, it's just giving you all the um, all the rundown of the options you can have there and it gives you um, just a bit of an idea of um, I mean, essentially it's some of it's a little bit complicated but the the ninja 5 essentially can't record all the things that the 5 plus and the um, the ultra can do so um, you might need to have a little look into that for kind of specifics but it is generally a frame rate thing so um, the uh, the the five can do 4K 60. It, it tops out at where um, the the Ninja Plus and the Ultra. I believe both of those can do 4K uh, 100. So yeah, it's um, you can sort of look into the uh, the specifics of that. But as I say, you've got all the um, all the information available there. So yeah, once you've updated um, on the camera, you'll get the option to um, switch it on for RAW over HDMI and you can kind of um, start working with that. And then outside of that, we've got the others option. So you've got operational stability with some storage devices, and that's essentially what's also come into the GH6, which um, is kind of a, a vague one, but I'm fairly certain we're talking about read and write speeds there for um, SSD drives and devices. So. Um, essentially just a little bit of um, stability fixes there around external devices and you can see on here we've got uh, the there was an issue with horizontal lines appearing for um, for JPEG photos in the SH uh, SH burst mode and that's been fixed as well as well as improved operational stability which essentially you get with most of these it's uh, it's just one of those things where they'll they'll throw in some additional bug fixes along the way so you might find that little bits um you know that you were kind of seeing in the camera just sort of disappear as you as you go through the updates so certainly if either of these is not something you're interested in um, yeah, I would definitely update it just just for these little additional fixes. You know, just get your camera updated, get onto version 2.0, and you know you, you might find that um, you save yourself some hassle if you ever do just switch into this mode without really knowing, and then you know you end up having issues. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link. You can get yourself updated using Lumix Sync, um, or you can do it uh, manually over the card. 
I'll leave links to videos on how you can kind of do all that. And um, yeah, if, if this has been helpful, please give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then uh, please subscribe.